The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so for number five, we have another limit problem. Uh, in this case, we're involving some square roots here. So we have this function f of x, rational function involving square roots. This is a pretty common form of uh, test question. So we have square root of 2x plus 1 minus square root of 3 all over x minus 1. We're trying to find the limit as x approaches 1. Well, the first thing you should always try is just to plug in 1 and see if you get an answer. In this case, you get 0 over 0 is an indeterminate form if you try x equals 1. So we need to do something with this. As soon as you see square roots that are added and subtracted, subtracted in a rational function like this, you should immediately think that you need to do the conjugate. So that means multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of that. Remember that the conjugate is the same two terms separated by a different middle sign. So we need to do that to the bottom and top. So when you do that, when you multiply two conjugates times each other, that's a difference of two squares. You have a minus b, a plus b. It's always the first one squared minus the second one squared. So that's just going to be 2x plus 1 minus 3. On the bottom, and this is true of pretty much all the problems like this. You never want to distribute this. Just leave it factored because something's going to cancel out anyway. So remember that the problem with trying to plug in 1, which is eventually what you want to do, is that you have this x minus 1 down here on the bottom because that's making it 0. So your objective here is try to cancel this out. So let's see if that worked out on top. We got 2x plus 1 minus 3, 2x minus 2. That can, we can factor 2 out of that. We get 2 times x minus 1. You can see then we're going to get that to cancel out. The x minus 1 on the bottom is going to cancel out. And we're left with root 2x plus 1 plus root 3. Now we can try to plug in 1, our limit, and see what the, or our, what our, x is approaching and try to find out what that limit is. So if we plug in 1 now, we're going to get 2 over root, so this is going to be root 3 plus root 3. <clears throat> so we have root 3 plus root 3, that's 2 root 3, and finally 2 over 2 root 3 is just equal to 1 over the square root of 3. And that's answer choice E. So when you see square roots like that, immediately think conjugate, um, and you're going to get something to cancel out. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.